martial arts instructors. Wake up! I said wake up! I'm showing you the high elder race is beyond all of your martial arts understanding because we built the papistry and we are Jesus Christ high elder race don't sit in the office of instructor if you're not going to be true to your heart there are four kinds of martial arts instructors there are the kind that can teach well but in a combat situation they're unfamiliar they've never been in that state of situation I'm not talking about being seriously rough with students that is not true combat true combat is when you have an enemy who is literally trying to take your life I mean hitting you with every inch of power he's got to crush your skull or trying to sword your head off or trying to stuff a dagger in you don't sit here consider yourself a serious master unless you've got records in the powers showing that you have seriously been in these situations don't boast yourself and don't stand so high because I'm gonna call you a liar from hell I bear the scars of true combat and I've got a record that shows it secondly there are the kind of instructors who cannot teach worth a shit but my god they can throw down because they've been in the realm and they've had their life put on the line so many times they've been beaten down so many times been there is the worst and most dangerous instructors of all the kind that have fought all their lives and they have taught all their life and they're highly skilled at both united that is a weapon of God that is someone who understands what's at hand those who speak do not know and those who do not know do not speak I'll say that again those who know do not speak and those who do not know speak understand the riddle we are here to use the martial arts powers from the fallen the fallen that are going to a lake of fire have passed down certain gifts to remember them in the hopes that to say to you I am going to hell but please use this gift to glorify God our Father use it for good do not make the mistakes we have made this is what martial arts is it is a bestowed and trusted gift that is designed to shape and mold you to become more godlike not to sit and boast of valor not to sit and boast and as if you are some unreachable piece of shit Jesus has entrusted us to grow and nurture the mind and heart of every being martial arts is designed to shape and mold the character of the six senses to make you more Christ-like if you are truly a monk 
then you will act like a monk in every way. Do not be like Elder Bruce and ah, uh, this is what I can do. He only did that because it was during a time when his ways were fresh to the Western world. Wake up! Uh, all you students under great masters, wake up! Do not sit and think that your master is so great if he has never been in a real fight in his life. If he has never been against an enemy who is literally trying to kill him. Take his knowledge of what he can give and honor him for that. But don't you dare think that he understands death. Because when death comes to your door, death has no mercy. Death has no rules. And death will not stop until you are no more. Now you understand. Martial arts, truth at your door. Jesus Christ, bless you.